Most jobs suck. Some of us are lucky, but I think most of us are stuck in jobs we hate, with people we tolerate, getting paid just enough to keep going to work. It can be hard to see any way out of the daily grind. I'm Ian Asaro, and I'm making a game about all of that. Cubicle Quest is an old-school RPG that tries to take out all the boring stuff and present these common problems in a tongue-in-cheek fantasy context. The game puts you in charge of a kingdom, under siege by armies of debt. They're attacking the walls of Castle Sanity, so you have to find a way to fight them off. To start, you can venture into the Dungeon of Work in order to find soldiers to fight them, but you could also form a roommate alliance, fight expense monsters, and otherwise manage your little world. Basically, I want to make an RPG that's a fantasy game on the surface, but the core mechanics all resemble real life. The size of the debt armies is equal to the average consumer debt. The number of soldiers in your army is based on your salary, and they all increase in accordance with real-life interest rates. You're free to ignore all those details if you want. The ultimate enemies of the game are emotional problems, like depression, feelings of worthlessness, and so on. The financial side of it is there if you like that, but it's all optional. After the introduction of the game, you're free to take almost any route you want to a better life. I'll show you a bit of how the game works. Instead of fire or lightning, you have elements that represent different kinds of life skills. So some are strong against problems at work, others are best against interpersonal conflicts, and so on. And instead of your usual fantasy gear, you equip goals, support communities, and so on. As you play through the game, you'll unlock new areas and meet new allies. They represent the kinds of people who might be in your life. For example, Lisa is a good friend with skills that can help you with personal problems, whereas Emily is like a coworker. She has great skills against work-based enemies, but not much against emotional problems. As you can see, the game is almost done. I'm on Kickstarter to finish it properly, get more art, distribute the game, and so on. Pledge $5 or more and you'll get the completed game, digitally and on all future channels. $10 lets you play the beta. The game's already been through an alpha test, so the beta should be fully playable, but since it could be non-linear at times, I want feedback from a lot of people so it will be an enjoyable experience for everyone. For $25, you can play the beta and then influence the final game in some way. You could create an NPC, an item, or an enemy. It could be something you think would make a better game, or you could name something after yourself if you want. For $100, you can play a larger role in the game. You see this big empty space? It's going to be your house, and it can contain anything you want it to. Your family or characters, special items or challenges for the player, so on and so forth. There are several openings in the game for unique contributions from backers. So thanks for watching my introduction. You can choose which level works for you and pledge accordingly, and you should be able to play the final product about this summer. But don't play it in your cubicle. That could get you a game over.